Okay, so here we are. I skipped a little bit of the beginning. I guess in this video we are just gonna do a little bit of the tutorial, not that much to be honest. I started remodding uh, Dragon Age Inquisition like a couple days ago. No, no, not a couple, like yesterday. Took me like 5-6 hours. I think we downloaded like 30, 40, 50 mods, something like that. I'm gonna do a specific video about that because you probably forgot how to mod Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, because, because it has been out for quite some time. Um, we have a shit ton of changes, like every, at least the important NPCs are overhauled, they are also overhauled in a way so that they don't crash in the Trespasser DLC, because there's a specific thing, like when stuff is not shiny or some shit on your head, like your skin or something, that it crashes the Trespasser DLC. So all the NPC changes are NPC, um, fucking DLC friendly, um... Yeah, what else? We have every class in the game overhauled. Right now we are two-handed. Heavy armor, never played that. I mostly played like a mage or something like that. But we also have mods like no armor class restrictions. We have no weapon restrictions. For example, you could play a warrior like, like I am right now, right? You could play a warrior with a bow, if that made sense. I don't know. But you can do that, and you can also, if it fails, there's like a respec potion that has unlimited uses, so you can try around. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, there's, there were some mods that were new that came out in 2019. Like, there's like this romance overhaul mod, so you can basically romance everyone you want without any consequences and stuff. Um... Last time I did Dragon Age on this ch channel, like one year ago or a little bit longer, I didn't really play that far because something in this game with the side quest is like really weird to me. But maybe I can focus on the main quest until a certain point and not do too much side quest because to be honest the side quest in the first area are fucking in, like bad. Um, but we have the fog removed so we have no problem with that, with the fog. Um, the, I, I only got um, errors from two or three, two to three mods that are not that important though. I didn't give a shit to fix them. It's only something about like experience, table and influence gain. But that doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna go over the mods in a separate video. M maybe you come from the first video, you already saw it and now you are here. Because I'm not sure if I'm uploading the explanation video first and then this or first this and then the explanation video. I have to see. Um. You think I'm responsible? Explain this. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is or how it got there. You're lying. We need her, Cassandra. Whatever you think I did, I'm innocent! Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She... Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I also, I'm not trying to talk too much, but of course in the first episode when there's explaining to do, here and there, of course, I'm gonna do it. But keep in mind, I never played any of the DLC of the game, like Trespasser and Jaws of Hakon, and I don't even know what the rest is called. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna go to the Dark Emporium because things tend to... I'm not saying crash, but like sometimes some mods don't like that. Like, But for the shops, sure, but not for the character creation thing mostly fucks up if you're gonna re-edit your character after this. Um, especially with hair mods, I heard. We call it the breach. But I think the character looks fine. It's a massive rift into the world um, of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift. By the way, feel free Just to check out the Fallout 4 super modded uh, playthrough as well. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Uh, uh, 
Also, <coughs> we don't have an ENB or reshade because I didn't really want to do that, to be honest. Your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. So I don't really have a choice about this. None of us has a choice. I sometimes have to check my flat screen on they the left because... Holy what? Divine Justinia, oh, head of the Chantry. Oh, like it sometimes shuts itself off in the middle of speaking and stuff like that. If that happens this time, I have to do like part two. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves as she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. But yeah, as you Where see, you there's like different armors. There is... Um, like there's an enhanced camera mod active. Faster walking speed. And just too much to, to say, to tell out of my mind. But all these significant mods, at least, that I had are... Working, at least, I think. So later, if I'm in the mood, I can just remove the ones that had errors, like uh, more EXP, like 30% more, so who cares? A little bit more influence, nothing too important. But all the loot mods and stuff like that, they all got no errors. There is a there is a Open the gate. We are heading into the looks way better. With over the shoulder and stuff. Can also zoom out when you do it like this. You see more for sure and it's like centered. Oh yeah, remember control is like stop time. There is a, when you use Frosty, like Frosty Mod Manager, there is a mod where you can sprint with shift. But most of the mods that work with Frosty, I heard at least, are not compatible with the Dragon Age um, Mod Manager. So I would just use the Dragon Age Mod Manager, I guess, because most of the mods are for the one way. So yeah. Pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I sur Man, I wish... I wish so much that... What is it called? That, what is it called? Um, Mass Effect Andromeda would have gotten like DLC and shit ton of fixes, like some other games that I'm not gonna name. But yeah. It literally makes no sense to replay Mass Effect Andromeda modded because I already like 100% finished it, like every side quest, every fucking <sighs> achievement. Sport, dude. 
So I can use, I remember, R or left click. Huh? Uh, what is that? Warcry, Mighty Blow. Can I not read what they do? Man, R is such a weird button, but it works. But I can also left play, so okay. eh. Drop your weapon. Now! If you're going to lead me through a demon-infested valley, you'll have to trust me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the line. <sighs> you're right. I cannot protect you, and I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you did not attempt to run. What's the search button? X? No. Tab? No. Uh. What's the... Not unlocked yet, maybe? V? Oh, it's V. Take the... Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp, or fight. We are on our own for now. Oh yeah, tap is... Uh, change. If you could hear that, my computer is like bvvp, like <laughs> kind of loud. Up on the hill, it attacks from a distance. the taunted route but I have to see I can respect anyway I guess so yeah and yes helmets are deactivated while in cutscene not sure if I activated it also for out of combat I'm not sure but you can still change that afterwards, so that's not that big of a deal, I guess. Also, search radius is increased by a shit ton of amount, and they, I think they ah, blink longer. From the and some other stuff. the chance to get his barrier, that's nice. Always was weird that when you attack, that you can't move while attacking, that's really fucking weird. I know there's a mod for it, but I'm not gonna use it. Just 
like that, I guess. But you can use it if you want. There's still some mods that you can use. But I think I got the best of them. There's also some mods where you can basically modif like create your own weapon with your we own stats and stuff. But Hold that's more like for pros, You'll I guess. Soon. We must help them. Did I just saw some invisible pants running in the background? The credit is yours. You mean this? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through. You named your crossbow Bianca. Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you. I can't close the breach if I'm dead. That is most certainly true. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Oh. Can I use the inventory? Yes. What what weapon do we even Raider Great Sword? Ah. Mercenary code, okay. I mean it's better. Sport has armor penetration. I mean, it doesn't really. There's really no big difference, I think. That's fine. Only matters and conversations anyway.
Also, I think removed fall damage, but I'm not sure. But I think so. Can I still quick save with F5? No, at least not right now. Demons ahead. Glad you brought me now, Seeker. Town should give me armor, right? So it's maybe it is actually worth using, I guess. Depends how long does the armor stay. I really have to read the skill description if I can next time. Like when the skill tree unlocks and stuff. Also, the mod uh, you can make it so that the inventory doesn't pop up. You know, like if you don't want it. You can actually make it so. Because as you see, I'm not sure what the starting thing is, but right now it's 60. So I take it you're from the But I have a mod, you can also change it to like 400, Accent. 300, whatever. I'm from Kirkwald, but you're I mean it's from good for loot herder, uh, loot hoarders like me. That's quite the ear you have. I'm all kinds of impressive. Um, so you also have to keep in mind your load order. So I have to check later what I have it. I have a set to because I remember having the carry weight mod, but it's very old, so I'm not sure if it's even gonna work. Like it's not probably not gonna make problems. Maybe the carry weight only comes in play after the tutorial. I have no idea. That'll get you every time. But. Story. It's very easy That's to change load order or just use it's a different carry weight mod, you know, it's like all possible. But always keep, uh, read the comments on the mods just in case. You know, you never know. At least the loot mod, I think, is working. Almost there. I have the standard version. Like, there's an extreme version and a materials version, but I, I think I got the standard version. Another rip. We must seal it quickly. Come 
Uh, so that's the one I have, right? Blah, 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 blah. More damage against knockdown targets, yes, 400%. And bonus, also 400. That's nasty, man. That's like eight, eight hits. Impact detonator ability use on incapacitated force for a combo, of course. Ooh, block and slash. What i like is actually whirlwind. And on the mighty below, what is that? Cost reduction. Ah. So where is that from? Warcry? Oh, from here. Sounds good. Let me try out the quick save. Does that work? Yes, bottom right, I saw the loading circle. As you can see, if I wanted to, what would be ridiculously stupid, I could actually equip the fire staff on a warrior. Would make no sense, but now you can. Some other things make maybe more sense, but so far, that's <laughs> what you can do. Oh shit, they are in T post, that's fine. Ah, here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick. I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. <laughs> order me? You are but a I have no animation sir. mods, <laughs> so and that's weird. Crat. But who cares? And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You shouldn't even be here! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? 
You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. I don't even remember a lot of the stuff. I mean, it's a tutorial, but hey. How do you think we should proceed? Use the mountain path. Work together. You all know what's at stake. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. should be just ahead. The path to the temple lies just beyond it. What manner of tunnel is this? A mine? Part of an old mining complex. These mountains are full of such paths. And your missing soldiers are in there somewhere? Along with whatever has detained them. We shall see soon enough. At least I don't have to hold W. That's something. Was it always like that? Was it always saying like blah 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 ammo right in front? I seriously don't remember that. Really? The stiletto makes so much more damage than a common sword? Probably also looks stupid as fuck if you use a shield with a fucking stiletto.
Yeah, way more crofting stuff, that's nice. At least in that bag. At least, I don't know if it was always there, but hey. Yes, we found the soldiers. Now it's there. That cannot <laughs> be all of them. So the others also, I think I'm gonna play this until I'm bored. Like, I'm not saying right now, hey, let's gonna do 100%. I'm not doing 100% because the side quests in this game are not that good. So I might just focus main quest, I might get bored after 20 episodes, we don't know. We have to see. You never force yourself to play something that you don't like really enjoy. So yeah, that's that. So I guess it goes longer when you hold it down? Sealed, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Thank the Maker you finally arrived, Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. She insisted we come this way. The prisoner? Then you... Closing rifts and saving soldiers is what I do. Then you have my sincere gratitude. The way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment. Go while you still can. At once. Quickly, let's move! The path ahead is fear of demons as well. Let's hurry before that changes. Loot first. No loot here. Okay. Down the ladder. That's the way to the temple. Wait. There's also a mod, by the way, that is going to get rid of the level requirements for items. I'm not sure why I don't have that, probably forgot it. But if you need it, I think it's still out there and I know for sure it's working because I think I used it, I think at least, don't count on that, but I think I used the level, like um, some kind of mod that re removed level requirements, I think. So, holes in the fade don't just accidentally happen, right? If enough magic is brought to bear, it is possible. But there are easier ways to make things explode. That is true. We will consider how this happened once the immediate danger is past. The Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the left behind you. No one knows who she was. You're here, thank the Maker. Liliana, have your men take up positions around the temple. 
I think we're gonna stop when we wake up in the bed. Like this is after the end boss, end kind of. Are you ready? I'm assuming you have a plan to get me up there. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. What are we hearing? I to guess, the person who created the breach. You know this stuff is Red Lyrium Seeker. I see it, Beric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on Lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <laughs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Your voice. Most holy called out to you, but. What's going on here? Shit, this Run looks so down. bad. We have an intruder. Kill her. Now. There. Who attacked? And the Divine is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The Fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed. Albeit temporarily. I believe that with the mark, the rift can be opened. And then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready! You know what this game reminds me of? Like 50% of the time? This game doesn't look like a triple A title, you know? Like, I mean, the voice acting is also like, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Animations, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. This game more feels like, maybe like a double A title, or like an extremely good indie game <laughs> that has been in development for 8 years since early access in Kickstarter. But Jesus man, I hope no! the next Dragon Age that they are working from on right now doesn't use the Frostbite engine. Like, just use something else. We must strip its defenses, wear it down.
Just a second. No loot? Okay. Do it! Oh my god, so... Uh, I would uh, also probably, this is probably gonna be the most watched Ten people or something that say, "Hey, you know, I don't really want to play the game again, or I never played the game. I can't run on my PC whatsoever." Yeah, but for now, I'm actually interesting and fun because of the mods and stuff. I'm gonna do a playthrough, of course, on my own and upload all that. But keep in mind, I'm also doing um, Fallout 4 super model, like 200 mods, 200 mods on the channel. Star Wars: The Old Republic, I think it's called SWTOR. That's the MMO, like not the Knights of the Old Republic. It's the the MMO version, and I'm gonna do a story playthrough on there from level one because. Maybe, I think, it's interesting, I don't know. Oh. I just know that some people on Discord were interested in it. I swear. Is this another prison? I... Humble servant, you are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Oh, and the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor, at once, she said. Them textures. Them textures. Lots of DLC stuff. What is that? Looks interesting. I mean, why not? It's still sea stuff, right? It's gonna be bad in two hours anyway. This probably gonna be <laughs> something better.
light armor with constitution on it? Weird. Wait, really? That one is way better in terms of armor? That's interesting. That's unique and this is rare, okay. Also it looks kind of silly. Um, how do you do that? Is it gameplay? Enemies always scale to be at least the same level as the Inquisitor, but significantly increases the chance. Okay. You can tell me in the comment section which of these are good or not. I have actually never used them, I think. So it fits the hair color <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys um yeah as i said earlier feel free to tell me if you want to see more if you don't want to see more um also i'm going to do a specific video an explanation video i'm not sure if you already watched it as i said earlier it depends on when i upload it anyway i'm gonna see you on my other videos or never again <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching bye bye uh, tschüss